Tonight we're getting another look at a nine page letter that is ripping into the House Oversight Committee. That letter from lawyers representing the Washington commanders. Yeah, they called the committee's investigation into the team's workplace culture and owner Dan Snyder's behavior a political inspired hatchet job designed to remove Snyder from the NFL. Yeah, Serena Marshall spoke with one of their lawyers about the motives behind it. So Serena, did they clear up anything specifically? Well, Leslie, Adam, if there are two things that the legal counsel John Brownlee made clear, it's that Diane Snyder has no plans to go anywhere voluntarily, and there was no impetus for this new offensive strategy, except that Congress is out of session through the midterms. We thought that as this Congress is coming to a close here, I think the elections are about a month, and then, um, uh, of course, it will end in January, that if they are, in fact, going to put out a report that it was important that they have um, our views of some things. One of their biggest grievances with the investigation was relying on two key now ousted employees. Brownlee told me current employees have a green light to speak publicly without fear of retaliation, even as the letter they released blames former team president Bruce Allen for the, quote, fraternity house culture that led to the investigation in the first place. When he was promoted, though, in 2014, Snyder said, I think the world of Bruce Allen. So should fans and those Americans watching this unfold, this investigation, believe that he had no knowledge of the toxic environment that was being led under his leadership? You know, you ask a great question. Uh, and I think that in this case, you didn't really know until um, the investigation unfolded and we were able to look at his email. I mean, he gave an appearance uh, of, of being one type of person, but when you see those emails, and I know you've looked at them, um, they give you a very different picture. Now, the House committee investigating hasn't indicated one way or another when or if they plan to release a report, but this letter does follow this past weekend's photo show of strength with Snyder and Cowboys head coach, which also came one week after this, which you're looking at right now, Washington Post story, claiming NFL owners are considering ousting Snyder from the league. Yeah, I, I, I would uh, be careful believing that story. Um, I think uh, Tanya and Dan Schneider um, have, a, have a, a firm uh, hold on to the team. They're committed to the team, they're committed to this community. Uh, they're committed to doing everything that they can to build a winning franchise. Uh, and we recognize this, and these are valuable franchises. There's a lot of people who probably want them. So you're going to have a lot of anonymous sources saying a lot of different things. So no chance they would consider selling to put controversy behind the team and let the team focus on football? No. And again, I, I think that one, I think they are committed to it. Uh, I would also say there's no reason to. Even if the House does wrap their investigation, the NFL's investigation into Snyder is still ongoing. Yesterday, the House committee told WUSA 9 that the commanders continue to try to block releasing documents. They will not be deterred in their investigation. Let's remember the broader issue here is about misogyny and about uh, workplace environments uh, across the country. That's one thing that the House Oversight Committee is really trying to drill down on. Sarita, thank you. So when the commander's front office is focused on Capitol Hill, the team is focused on FedEx Field. This Sunday, they take on the Tennessee Titans. Game time, 1 o'clock, right here on WUSA 9.